What is Sigma Pi Sigma? Honor Society Foundation, a trusted authority in the Honor Society space, will walk you through Sigma Pi Sigma. So, what are the requirements to be a part of Sigma Pi Sigma? Well, undergraduates must be in the upper one-third of their class, and this is the minimum of the standard that the chapters use. A higher minimum is often established for physics courses. Undergraduates will have to have completed at least three semesters of college coursework and at least three semesters of physics being a part of that college coursework. Now, graduate students and faculty members can be elected for membership at any time. Just because this is a physics honor society does not mean that you have to be a physics major to join. You only need to meet the standards as set out by the actual honor society itself and ensure that you have the amount of physics classes you need and the grade requirement in those classes to meet this standard. So what is the history of Sigma Pi Sigma? Founded in 1921, roughly 100 years ago, Sigma Pi Sigma now has 90,000 members. Election to Sigma Pi Sigma is a lifetime membership. The Society of Physics Students was formed in 1968 with the Union of Sigma Pi Sigma and the AIP student sections. Today, Sigma Pi Sigma is housed within SPS. So what are the key benefits of being a Sigma Pi Sigma member? They have chapter events, awards, scholarships, FizCon, online communities, and of course, federal benefits. Based on the information, here is our review. Our first observation is that this is one of the only physics honor societies to exist. Our second observation is that this society was founded in 1921, meaning it's almost 100 years old and it has withstood the test of time on college campuses. Observation number three is that this society offers postgraduate benefits, which is a very notable benefit to have. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us and stay tuned for more Honor Society reviews.